A life-threatening situation where the man went into cardiac arrest at the Olive Garden in Eugene. Three local women jumped in to save his life. Those three women are the subject of this very special Acts of Kindness. Acts of Kindness on NBC 16 is sponsored by Rife's Home Furniture and Mattress. Sherry and George were visiting from Waldport to do some shopping when they decided to have dinner at the Olive Garden. You have two doors when you enter the, the building. The second one, he didn't make it through, and I turned around to talk to him, and he was on the ground and not breathing. And I screamed out, call 911, and I started yelling in his ear, breathe, you always listen to me, breathe. Two waitresses came running from out of the back and started CPR on him. I started chest compressions and then Drea appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. And then I, she was like, I'm, like, you want me to take over? And I was like, absolutely, yeah, take over. Yeah, I was doing chest compressions and then I honestly don't remember how long I was doing it for because it happened so fast. A lady came into the, into the door a few minutes later and said she was a CPR trainer and started in working on George. She arrived so fast and yeah. took over that like, I, it could have been five, ten minutes. It could have been one minute. Cindy Mino, a CPR instructor, received an alert on the Pulse Point app that someone needed CPR. I saw that uh, George was down in between the double doors and CPR was in progress. I just asked the person who was doing compressions. I'm like, I'm a CPR instructor. Would you like me to take over compressions? And it was a definite yes. And so then I took over compressions and kind of waited until more additional resources arrived. And because of these three women jumping into action, George's life was saved. If it hadn't been for all the people in the right places and us being in the right places, a lot of things wouldn't happen the way they did. Everybody, they were like angels. They, they were just all in their place and they all did their job and they, it was just unbelievable. When he woke up, he said, I knew that I had really good CPR given to me. I've never done it before until that day, so it was just like, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> and trying to keep Sherry calm. Yeah, That was one yeah. of the thoughts in my head because yeah. she was just crying. Super important to be calm, and that way you can actually think about everything you need to think about. When you're stressed, you can't remember anything. All three women were extremely humble about their efforts, but George and Sherry are forever grateful. You could tell he was gone. You could tell that, that he just wasn't there anymore. And it, it was that was my whole world going down the tubes right then. And those two girls doing what they did and seeing him take a breath, he, he actually took a couple of little breaths. It just, it gives you hope. They were fantastic. And the woman who came in after them, I can't say enough about these people. At MVC 16 and Rife Home Furniture, we like to acknowledge individuals giving back within the community, and we like to present you guys each with $150 for saving George's life. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I don't even know what to say. If you are interested in learning CPR, Cindy Mino teaches American Heart Association CPR classes through Lane Community College. You can email her at M-E-N-O-C-P-R at gmail.com. Now, if you know someone who should be recognized for their act of kindness, we want to hear about it. Simply fill out the nomination form on our website. Go to NBC16.com slash A-OK. -okay.